Coco, are you ready for this? Uh, more ready than I ever have been. Okay, I want you to give it your all. This is a big audition, bigger than any of the ones you took shots at, so please take this serious. Come on, mama, give me a chance. I'm mature now. I'm a whole six months older. <laughs> okay, okay, let me see you put your smile on. <laughs> all right, it, it doesn't have to be that big, but it, it looks good. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. Don't be sorry. Come on, let's go. I want to see you work your magic. Wow, Mama, this is nice. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be a star. <laughs> um, thank you so much for having us. This is my daughter, Coco. Uh, hi, nice to meet you, ma'am. Oh, what a sweet young lady you are. Thank you. So, are you ready? Yes, I'm so ready. Before we start, would you like some hot chocolate? Oh, sure. Uh, absolutely, but is it vegan? <laughs> well, you're in luck because it actually is. It's called Rise, and I promise you it's delicious. Oh, my goodness. I love this job already. <laughs> well, I'm happy you like it. Okay, go ahead and stand over there, and let's see what you got. Did you prepare a monologue? Yes, ma'am. You did? Um, You didn't write it by me. Mama, I didn't want to worry you. Oh, let me just close the shades, but I'm super excited to hear what you got. Okay, I'll start now. Papa, please don't leave me. My heart can't take it. Papa! No. Papa has left me. And I, my heart, will cry. <laughs> I am so sorry about this. She's uh, battling a condition that has her messed up in the head. Right? Right, Coco? Your condition? Uh, uh, yes, uh, my condition has me messed up. Yeah, uh, you know what? I dropped her on the head one too many times, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, you dropped her in her head and it made her do that? natural and I have to have her on the team. What? I mean, well, yes. And you, you see how she did what she did? <laughs> I saw everything and she is amazing. I'll be back. I need to go tell the head boss about Coco. See, mama, I told you I got this. I see, baby. I am so sorry for not letting you explore your creativity. Thank you, because I have what it takes. The lady said it herself. I know you do. OMG, I cannot wait to tell everybody. So I Is everything okay? Mm, not exactly. It looks as though Coco copied exactly what someone else did in an audition and it's not authentic according to my boss. Uh, oh no, my baby made that up. She is talented, creative, and all of the above. Isn't that right, Coco? Uh, yes, about what point? Uh, all of it. Tell her that was just you being you. Um, well, sir, I mean, ma'am, um, yes, usually I'm very outspoken and energetic. Um, uh, but I did copy off of Sarah Savannah. Uh, what? Well, she looked like she was having fun and like she knew how to do it right. So I wanted to win. So I did what I had to do. You don't cheat your way to win because in the end you lose. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, we won't be able to cast you. Oh, uh, wait, ma'am. I'm sorry. Just because I cheated just a little bit doesn't mean I don't have talent. Uh, uh, okay, look, look, I can see why. Yes, yes, yes. So we'll come now. Yes. Girls Day? Uh, uh, with your money, of course. <laughs> Probably not today, Coco. This afternoon? No. T tonight? No, not at all today, Coco. I have a lot I need to get done and I need to focus. Oh, well, can we watch a movie later? No, Coco. Not now, not later. I'm working and I need you to stop talking now. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I was just bored, but I won't bother you anymore. <laughs> well, I have to go where I'm loved. And clearly, Mama doesn't want me here anymore. 
So I have to do what's best, okay? So I'm gonna pack my bags. It was it was so good having you bed. You were so comfy. Hopefully my next bed is as comfy as you and room. It was really good having you. Hopefully where I go to next has a, a room just as good as you. Come on, Teddy. You can come with me on my new journey. Oh, wait. You know what, Coco? I do have a little time, so maybe we can go get some ice cream. You need to stop hiding and come out. Coco! To mama. Hi, mama. I'm sorry I've been getting on your nerves. I never like to make you upset, and I see my presence is doing that. If you get this letter, I've already left. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Hopefully, we can meet again in the future. But until then, I love you. I wish you well and tell everyone I said farewell. I don't have any money on me, but I figure I'll get a job soon. Love, Coco. What in the world? No, Coco! I need to call the police! 911, what's your emergency? Hi, my daughter is missing and I need help. Ma'am, how old is your daughter and what's her name? She's nine and her name is Constance Streety, but everyone calls her Coco. Okay, ma'am, please provide me with your address. And did she say anything about leaving? Um, one, two, three, four, Sesame on a drive. Yes, she, she left a letter and I feel really bad because I had a busy day and I couldn't give her any attention at the moment. So I guess she felt neglected. Okay, please stay calm. We are getting the patrol cars out there immediately. Thank you, please hurry. <sighs> I am so sorry. Please just bring my Coco home, please. Who's there? Hello? Coco? Huh? I thought you ran away. I did, to the closet. I know you didn't think I was gonna run away outside where it's stranger danger. I'm not crazy. Plus, Mom, I need dinner tonight. But why? Why would you scare me like that? I didn't mean to. I just wanted to give you your space. Coco, just because I was busy at the moment does not mean I'm trying to neglect you. And I do apologize if it came off that way, but you can never do that again. You had me so worried, which is a mean and selfish thing to do. I'm sorry, Mama. You think I could move back in? Absolutely. Woo! Thank goodness! Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, Teddy. We're going back in. Now, now, Coco. You know that's a no-no. Every 